Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Kirti Suta from Dr. Makar's Diabetes and Obesity Center, Diabetes and Heart Disease. Yes, this is the topic of the day. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Dr. KP, and good afternoon, everyone who's uh, connected and listening to this program. When you have diabetes, you are at risk of heart disease, called as coronary disease, and can lead to heart attack. So, sir, my first question to you of the day is, how much is the risk of heart disease more in diabetics as compared to non-diabetics? Uh, this is very important. And actually, you know, uh, uh, most of the people don't understand why diabetes is a serious disease. So one of the major things that a person with diabetes uh, has is a very high risk for developing heart disease and death due to heart disease or even extension of this is atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So basically, if you look at people with diabetes, they have almost three to four times higher risk of developing heart disease as compared to people who are non-diabetic. Now, this just giving you this figure that three to four times, you know, people don't understand the intensity or the significance of this. So diabetes is considered as a heart disease equivalent. That means if a person has diabetes and no heart disease, and a person who has heart disease and suffered a, you know, one heart attack, but does not have diabetes, both have the same risk of developing a heart attack or heart disease second heart attack. So that is why getting diabetes actually gives you a uh, risk equal to that is given by one heart attack in a person who doesn't have diabetes. So it is very, very significant and serious issue that one has to keep in mind. And prevention of heart disease or prevention of this lowering of risk is also very component of managing diabetes. Yeah. So what exactly does diabetes does to your uh, risk of heart disease? So diabetes is a condition which is uh, basically, uh, it is not just, you know, increase in blood sugar. Increase in blood sugar is one of the hallmark features of diabetes as far as the diagnosis of diabetes is concerned. And this characterized by increased blood sugar level. Now, what causes type 2 diabetes? Uh, you know, one thing I want to mm, inform everyone that when we talk of diabetes and heart disease, largely we are talking of type 2 heart diabetes. So when we look at type 2 diabetes, there is one very significant underlying uh, pathophysiological abnormality at grassroots level, that is the development of insulin resistance. And once there is insulin resistance, there is increased risk of developing heart disease, cholesterol abnormalities, blood pressure, heart disease, and so on. What happens in insulin resistance, there is increased vascular inflammation. So within the blood vessels, there is inflammation. And this inflammation leads to damage to the lining of blood vessels and deposition of cholesterol within the blood vessels. And gradually, this cholesterol deposition keeps on go growing and narrowing the blood vessels, leading to reduction in the blood flow within these blood vessels. This happens across all blood vessels in the body. So the major ones that are affected are the ones that is uh, in the heart, the coronary arteries. And once they get blocked, it leads to heart attack or angina or you know uh, damage to the heart and leading to other abnormalities. Similarly, this can happen in brain. So similarly, it can happen in other arteries. So basically, insulin resistance leads to inflammation within the arteries, which is the underlying mechanism leading to development of coronary arteries. So do we have other risk factors also associated with heart disease for heart disease or only diabetes is the causal factor? So as I mentioned in the previous question that the one of the major or core defects underlying the diabetes is presence of insulin resistance. 
So when we say insulin resistance, that means resistance to action of insulin, the hormone which controls glucose level. And once there is resistance to its action, you need more insulin that is being produced in the body. And that is why the glucose, uh, you know, so starts rising. Now with insulin resistance, there are other things that are happening. Blood pressure, uh, coronary artery disease, uh, changes in the cholesterol levels, dyslipidemia, obesity is also increased, associated with. So diabetes people, people with diabetes, <clears throat> if we look at the cholesterol abnormalities, almost 75% have some or other abnormality of the cholesterol level. Almost 50% people have high blood pressure. Almost 60% people have some degree of heart failure. So all these things, you know, combine together and further increase the risk of developing heart disease. So now how to manage diabetes and heart disease? So uh, managing uh, heart disease and diabetes is not very different. First thing is, uh, there are, I would like to also tell that there are certain differences between the heart disease that people with diabetes get and the people who do not have diabetes and develop heart disease. So di people who have diabetes and develop heart disease have more severe heart disease. And they have, uh, so there are three major arteries in the heart, three coronary arteries. So, people who do not have diabetes usually will present with one cor coronary artery or two coronary arteries. Affected. And they usually the lesions are small, you know. It is not affecting large length of the coronary artery, the block that is happening. In diabetes, it is usually two or three arteries which are involved. And the disease is more diffuse. It is not localized. So you have long blocks within the arteries as compared to the people who do not have diabetes. So disease is here more diffuse and more severe. Now, what does it mean in terms of management? One, the risk is higher in people with diabetes. Second, the treatment options may have to be different. So people who have localized disease, it is very easy to stand. Suppose somebody comes to you with one artery and one artery having small block. So getting an angioplasty and stentic done is the usual option. Now, when you have multiple arteries affected and multiple lesions within the arteries or longer lesions within the arteries, which are not amenable to stenting, then the option becomes bypass surgery. So in people who do not have diabetes, it's easier to perform, uh, you know, non uh, no, I won't say non-interventional, uh, the catheter procedures or angioplasty, while most more people with diabetes will require bypass surgery and less will be amenable to angioplasty. So the because of the severity of disease, even the treatment needs to be more radical. <clears throat> so now, very, very important question is, how can we reduce the risk of heart disease in person suffering with diabetes? So first thing is that you have to keep, uh, you know, you have to adopt good uh, lifestyle. You should be exercising regularly and should be on a healthy diet and maintain a good control of uh, diabetes also. Now, at the same time, we have to reduce the cholesterol levels from whatever level they are. So that is why a good number of times patients ask us, Sir, we are giving you, uh, why are you giving us cholesterol medication? My cholesterol is not. Now, issue is, there are studies which have clearly shown that at whatever level of cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, which is LDL, at whatever level we start treating them, every lowering of LDL level is associated with benefit in terms of reducing the further heart attack and the heart-related mortality or death. So all diabetes patients, it is clearly recommended that if the age is more than 40 years, every person with diabetes should be on a cholesterol-lowering medication, which is the specific classes that. 
Now, how much statin is required depends on the LDL levels the person is having. So, if the person is, uh, you know, having a LDL of 110, it has to be brought to 70, the dose of L statin will be required accordingly. Somebody has 170, again, it should be brought to 70, maybe we need much higher dose. Now, important thing is somebody comes who has LDL of 80 only. Does that mean we don't give them medication? So there is something called low-risk people with diabetes. They are considered low-risk if the age is less than 40, LDL is less than 100, triglyceride is less than 150, and HDL is more than 140. So if this is the scenario, then they are considered low-risk. But even with low risk profile, if the age is more than 40, everybody should be treated for cholesterol levels. And studies have clearly shown that if you are treating them with statin, irrespective of the cholesterol level, there is reduction in the risk of mortality by 30 to 50%. Another very important question, what I see in my yeah. regular clinic practices, the people usually come and say, Dr. Sir, my LDL cholesterol was very low. And LDL, I'll say, 60, 70 ke beech mein hai. So, I have to stop this Is it the right approach? No. So, the medication needs to be continued. That is what I wanted to tell you. That even if you are have starting at a lower level of cholesterol, further lowering is associated with significant benefit. Then the second thing is, Jo, uh, cholesterol lowering the vice statin hai, there is something called pleiotropic benefits. So it is not just lowering of cholesterol, it stabilizes the, the plaque formation within the arteries. Jo heart attacks hote hai, normally kab hote hai, jo apke blocking ho rahe arteries ki, jo lipid deposit ho raha hai, wo stable nahi hota. Or kabhi blood pressure bad gaya, ya kabhi emotional stress ho gaya, ya kabhi bhoa jada exertion ho gaya, jab heart attacks hote hain. Uska reason hota hai ki ek soft plaque hota hai, jo fragment kar jata hai, toot jata hai apni jaga se. Or further wo jab circulation mein jata hai, to wo niche kahi artery ko block kar deta hai. Or ya wahi pe toot ke sudden blockage karta hai blood flow. Which leads, ab blood flow nahi hai, to uske aage ka tissue dead ho jata hai, jisko hum heart attack kaya hai. Jo ye dawaiyon hoti hai statins, they stabilize these plaques. They lead to reduction in the size of plaques and stabilize. So even if the, there is block, the block is unlikely to cause heart attack uh, as compared to people who are not on statin. So is liye ye treatment jo hai, bada zaruri hota hai ki continue kara hai. Sir, now moving to the very next aspect, we talk about cardiovascular <clears throat> disease also. Would you like to tell us the difference between CVD and CAD? So, coronary artery disease, जब हम कहते हैं तो इसका मतलब है जो heart की जो major vessels हैं, उसमें आपके blocking हो रहे, block बन रहे हैं. इसको कहते हैं block patient आता है block हो गई जाती है. So narrowing हो रही है उसके lumen में because of the deposition of cholesterol and formation of plaques. जब हम cardiovascular disease कहते हैं तो उसमें हम जो major organs होती हैं जिसमें heart, brain और all major blood vessels उनको include करते हैं. So atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease और the commonly it is termed as ASCVD includes not only heart, it includes brain and it includes all large blood vessels in the body. और ये जितनी बड़ी ब्लड वेसल्स हैं इन सब में ब्लॉक होने के चांसेस होते हैं डायबिटीज में सबसे ज्यादा हार्ट में दूसरा ब्रेन में तीसरा पेरिफेरल आर्टरीज जो लोअर लिम्स को जो टांगों में हमारी आर्टरीज होती हैं उनमें भी ब्लॉक होने के चांसेस हैं और जब उनमें ब्लॉक होते हैं तो डायबिटिक फुट की डेवलपमेंट जो होती है वो एक इशू बन जाता है और अगर ब्लॉक सीवियर है तो इवन पैर को एम्पुटेट करने की भी नौबत आ These days, what we are listening of is sudden deaths with diabetes, and there are cases with non diabetes also. So, can you elaborate on diabetes and heart failures? So, sudden death is something different. Sudden death can happen in uh, anybody, 
diabetes people because they have damage to the nerves coming from heart they don't perceive the symptoms so ek normal aadmi jisko heart mein koi block ho raha hai ya kuch ho raha hai usko chalne se jaise angina kehte hain chest mein pain hota hai diabetes patients mein ho sakta hai ye pain na ho almost 20% silent hoti hai heart disease to usme sudden deaths ke chances bhi zyada hote hain sudden heart attacks hote hain sudden death सडन डेथ का मतलब सडन कार्डिक डेथ होते मतलब हार्ट रिलेटेड सडन डायबिटीज में साइलेंट मायोकार्ड इन्फॉक्शन और हार्ट अटैक्स कॉमन होते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दी डैमेज टू दी नर्व दैट आर इन्वॉल्व इन सेंडिंग आउट दर्सेप्ट दिग्नल और यू कैन से देंसेशन रिलेटेड टू दीज थिंग्स सो पेन नहीं होता डिस्कम्फर्ट नहीं होती है और अंडरलाइंग हार्ट डिजीज सडनली आपको दिक्कत करती है Uh, दूसरी चीज थी हार्ट फेलियर सो हार्ट फेलियर भी जो है एक टर्म है जिसमें बहुत सारा कंफ्यूजन है रहता लोगों को और किसी की सडन कार्डियक डेथ भी होती है तो लोग आके बताते हैं जी हार्ट फेल हो गया हार्ट फेल हो गया हार्ट फेलियर जो होता है वो टर्म यूज किया जाता है कि हार्ट की जो पंपिंग एक्शन है बेसिकली हार्ट का काम क्या है हार्ट बेसिकली पूरे शरीर में ब्लड पंप कर रहा है कॉन्टिन्यूसली एक मिनट में एवरेज जो सेवेंटी और सेवेंटी टू कॉन्ट्रेक्शन लेते हैं हम हार्ट के सो एवरी टाइम द ब्लड इज बींग पम्प इन टू दी बॉडी डिफरेंट पार्ट एंड गोइंग टू डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी नाउ एक चीज होती है एक पैरामीटर होता है कि इजेक्शन फ्रैक्शन कितना मतलब हर बार ही जब पंप कर रहा है तो कितनी एफिशियंसी से कर रहा है सो नॉर्मल एक ले लैंग्वेज में हम ये कह सकते हैं कि हार्ट की फंक्शनिंग नॉर्मल कितनी होती है सो सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग होती है इसके अलावा जो है हार्ट की जो मूवमेंट होती है मसल्स की वो एक इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट होता है कि अगर वो खराब हो रही है तो हार्ट की फंक्शनिंग भी खराब होगी जब ये फंक्शनिंग कम होती है तो उसको हम हार्ट फेलियर कहते हैं हार्ट फेलियर डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स में काफी कॉमन होता है और बहुत सारी रीसेंट स्टडीज में देखा गया है कि ऑलमोस्ट 50 टू 60 परसेंट ऑफ पीपल विद डायबिटीज हैज सम डिग्री ऑफ हार्ट किसी को कम किसी को ज्यादा किसी को बहुत ज्यादा डिकॉम्पनसेटेड है किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हो रही है बट सिग्निफिकेंट हार्ट फेलियर इज कॉमनली सीन इन टाइप टू डाय सो टू पिक अप फर्स्ट थिंग इज सिम्टम्स नॉर्मली क्या होता है लोग आके आपको बताते हैं कि चलने से सांस फूल रही है या एक्सर्शन से सांस फूलती है और देखने में कोई फाइंडिंग नहीं है तो चांसेस हैं आप कहीं ना कहीं हार्ट फेलियर मिस कर रहे हैं दूसरा जो जनरल कंप्लेंट्स होती हैं जैसे फटीक होती है बहुत ज्यादा बहुत ज्यादा थका रहता है पेशेंट अब डायबिटीज अगर खराब आपकी कंट्रोल्ड है शुगर बढ़ी हुई है तो भी आपको फटीक फील हो सकती है तो भी आप टायर्ड हो सकते हैं बट अगर वो पार्ट कंट्रोल्ड है बिकॉज ऑफ द डिक्रीज फंक्शन ऑफ ब्लड ये वेग सिम्टम्स भी हो सकते हैं जो आपको दिक्कत कर रहे हो ठीक है तो हार्ट फेलियर जो है टोटली डिफरेंट चीज है जिसमें हार्ट का पंपिंग एक्शन कम होता है ना कि ब्लड की ब्लड वेसल्स ब्लॉक होती Now, एक सेकेंड एस्पेक्ट यह है कि कॉर्नरी हार्ट डिजीज जब सिग्निफिकेंट होती है और हार्ट अटैक में हार्ट की मसल डैमेज हो जाती है तो इनडायरेक्टली वो भी पंपिंग एक्शन को कम करता है ठीक है तो हार्ट जो हार्ट डिजीज है उससे भी हार्ट फेलियर प्रेसिपिटेट dear friends now it's the time to take your diabetes seriously repeatedly we have been telling you about the same thing ki diabetes is the mother who gives birth to so many offsprings so any take home message for the day no i think it is very important to keep in mind that diabetes jo hai khali blood sugar nahi hai khali blood sugar ko manage karna diabetes management nahi hai blood sugar ek aapka marker hai jisko aapne kam karna hai जिसको आपने नॉर्मल रेंज में ले जाना है अदरवाइज आप वो कॉन्टिन्यूसली नेगेटिव मेटाबॉलिज्म में चल रहे हैं बट डायबिटीज के साथ साथ बहुत सारी और बीमारियां होती हैं 
और हार्ट डिजीज एक मेजर इशू है जिसको हमें एड्रेस करना ही है हार्ट डायबिटीज पेशेंट इनफैक्ट एनीबडी मोर देन फोर्टी इयर्स ऑफ डायबिटीज हमें उसकी रिस्क एवेल्युएशन जो है वो एक इम्पोर्टेंट कंपोनेंट है डायबिटीज मैनेजमेंट का और जितने भी पेशेंट जिनको डायबिटीज है और फोर्टी ईयर्स के ऊपर है रेगुलर डाइट अपनी फॉलो करनी चाहिए वॉक रेगुलर करनी चाहिए दवाई अपने टाइम पे खानी चाहिए मॉनिटरिंग शुगर टेस्टिंग रेगुलर करनी चाहिए दवाई में शुगर के अलावा एक स्टैटिन दवाई जैसे मैंने कहा कोलेस्ट्रॉल वाली अगर वो प्रिस्क्राइब की गई है तो जरूर लेनी चाहिए और कभी छोड़नी नहीं चाहिए और इसके अलावा बाकी जो दवाई है वो तो चलें तो ये सारी चीजें ही इम्पोर्टेंट होती हैं और लोग सोचते हैं कि मेरे को खाली शुगर की गोली खानी है महीने बाद सब बंद कर तो वो नहीं होना क्योंकि उससे आपका रिस्क बढ़ता ही जा रहा है So that brings to the end of the session. Thank you, everyone. Thank for you, Dr. Kirti. Thank you so much.